So at first glance, it seems like a little repetitive. We already know the story. The Jews left Egypt. We know, we know the whole story, where they went. So why now does the Torah have to start telling us every single stop? Why was it so important? Why does it just give us a list? They went from here, they went to here, to here, to here, to here, to here, to here. It, you know, we know the Torah doesn't waste even one letter. Why was everything, you know, why would it give us this entire list, their entire itinerary now, after they were, you know, now they're about to go into Israel? So I thought one possible explanation is that obviously the goal was to get to the final destination, but each stop was just as important. There was something to be gained at each place and something to be learned on every journey that they took. So although the Pesukim make it seem like it's merely a trip from one place to another, just an itinerary, the Torah takes the time to go and mention each stop to tell us that, you know, along the way, each thing they did, every trip was special, and even though at face value, it just seems like an itinerary, everything was really, you know, there were lessons to be learned. So I thought this, this related um, a lot to how I think about Zadie. But although if at face value someone was telling you about his life, you think here is a man who was born in Europe, he moved to Cleveland, Ohio, he raised a family, he was an electrician, you know, it might seem like a fairly simple life, but Zadie's life was really anything but that. Everything he did was something special, and we can look at so many aspects of his life and learn a lesson. So just a few other things. Um, one thing was the way Zadie treated Bubby. The ultimate, the ultimate respect and the ultimate love. It's something I, I wish I could emulate. One, well, one thing, well, one thing, <laughs> well, an example, as an example, one thing I remember that I never, I never saw Bobby open the car door even. That every time we'd be going into the car, he said he always yeah. open the car door. Yeah. So I tried, said, you this said, is said, something yeah. I want to learn from anxiety. Do that you was, hear that me? Was Do you hear everybody? <laughs> so I'm saying, for so All right, grandchildren of mine and great grandchildren. So for the first six months, I think I was able to do that. And it's just for me to think that Zed did it for 50 years, it's still, I can't ah, even Henry. imagine it. If you mean it's <laughs> gone? She get in the car. I don't know, but I mean, that believe me, I still respect that. It's still open the car door for every time you, you had to do it. She wouldn't get in the car. <laughs> <laughs> um, another thing I remember is just how he treated us, his grandchildren. That, um, although we didn't get to see him as often as we would have liked, he made every moment count. Every time we saw him was something special. Whether it was him teaching us how to ball, I still remember the strike. Whenever Zaddy got a strike, it was like an explosion. All the pins. It wasn't like a regular person gets a strike. Everything, you know, maybe 